Hello, welcome back again. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Make sure you check out the website, but also check out the courses that we have on Moodle and LMSs down in the comments below or in the description below. What we're going to look at, we have a series about H5P. And if you're not sure what H5P is, it's basically an interactive HTML5 content generator or publishing platform. Uh, Moodle has been since version four has been especially interested in integrating H5P into the core code for the platform. So you'll find H5P is becoming easier to use, more practical, better to use. In this video, I'm going to show you how you use H5P in Moodle 4.0, because it is quite different than it was used in any of the previous versions before that, or it was sort of partly developed in 3.8, 3.9, but 4.0, this is where it has become quite useful and practical and a clever way of adding H5P content. So if you're not sure what H5P content is, there's a link to a video about H5P and what it is down the bottom. Go and have a look at that. But let's go and jump into Moodle 4.0 and I'll show you how you create H5P in there and what the process is, which is, like I said, it's a little bit different. So let's jump into Moodle 4.0. I should say for those that remember in previous versions, if you went into a course and once you're in that course, you would then go and turn edit mode on, go down to add an activity, and then you would choose out of the list of activities, H5P, just here, and you would start building your H5P object or activity inside this page. But that's not how it works now. It has changed quite dramatically. So on the home page, if I have a look at the home settings, participants, reports, question bank, all of that sort of thing, there's a place called content bank. And Content Bank is something that you may or may not have taken any notice of, but if you go into Content Bank, Content Bank is where you can create your H5P activities. So instead of creating them inside courses or inside uh, actual pages as individual content, you create all your H5P in the Content Bank first. So for example, I've got a, a video here that's a H5P interactive video. You can see that I have an example video. as a H5P activity, and if you scroll across, it eventually goes to some sort of question here that says, ask you a question about something. So that's the interactive part. But the video in the background is actually showing you how H5P works as well. So it's a bit of a introduction to H5P. I've added the H5P activity inside here instead. So inside the content bank, and that's where the H5P activities all live. So you develop them all there. Then you put them into your content, just like you embed or similar to how you embed a YouTube video inside your content. So it's sort of being embedded in the content rather than being part of the existing course content. So if we did go back into our course and we were going to embed that H5P, we'd go add an activity or resource. We would still choose H5P. We go in and put in a name for our H5P, which would just be the introduction to H5P. And then we need to add a package file to that from our content bank. So we can go to content bank and create the activity from here, we can click on content bank, it'll open the content bank and we put the interactive object in there, the H5P in there, or we can choose files here. And instead of going upload, we choose content bank, which is listed up here at the top. And because we don't have any in the existing one, we need to go right back to the very top. And there is our example video. I can list that like this. There is our example video H5P right at the top of the content bank. Your content bank can be categorized and have folders and things based on your courses to find things. But we just add interactive video, insert that, and that is now, that interactive video is now in our content. So if I save and display, it will load the H5P activity from the content bank into our page instead. Here is our H5P activity with the marker there that stops the video at that point. So if you're not sure what that, how that bit works, go and check out the other video on creating H5P activities. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea on how the structure of H5P now works in Moodle 4.0. So remember, it's a content bank. You put everything in the content bank and then you embed it into your pages and into your content where you want it to go. One other incredibly useful thing that you can do with H5P in your content, because we added H5P as an activity, we can also add H5P inside pages in line with your content, which is really cool because that way it keeps the context of the information you're giving students in one section or in a page, and then allows you to have the activity as part of that content and then continue on with more content. So for example, if we go into our page, into a standard Moodle page, and we have some content in there, some content here, 
we can add h5p inside here and then have more content and the student can read the content do the activity continue on with more content how do we do that right here where we want our h5p all we do is go up to h5p and we choose browse repository and remember we have the content bank go to the content bank go to system which shows us the top level of where our particular h5ps are stored put in the example video select insert h5p and just move that back a bit because we don't need all that extra space and if we now save and display you will see that we have some content we have our interactive h5p in this case it's a video but it could be any sort of h5p activity and then we have some more content so that's a simple way of adding h5p into your page content as well. Hopefully that's been useful to you. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. We have a whole series of things taking you through a lot of the H5P examples and the different types of activities and adding them into your content. Please subscribe and follow along and I'll take you through probably about maybe six different uh, key activity types that are used in H5P, how to set them up, how to use them. I'll see you again in the next video.